Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you extremely beautiful chess game. This is the game between Mikhail Tal and Neibolt. On the score sheet, it says the game was played in the Soviet Union in 1991. In this game, Tal had white pieces and he started with e4. Black played c5, d4, pawn takes pawn. Can white take pawn with queen? Yes, it's possible. If queen takes, then black would play knight to c6, attacking queen. In the game, Tal played c3. He sacrificed his pawn for quick development of his pieces. And also he cleared c and d file for his rooks. Opening that he played in this game is called Smith Mora Gambit. Black played a knight to c6, knight to f3, and just watch smooth development of white pieces. d6, bishop to c4, e6, tal castled, knight to f6, queen to e2, making room for rook to come to d1, a6, preventing knight from coming to b5, also preparing b5. Rook to d1, placing rook on the same file where black queen is, queen to c7, moving queen off the file, now placing bishop on the same diagonal where black queen is. Knight to e5, attacking bishop, bishop to b3. Bishop to e7, and now placing another rook on the same file where queen is. Moving queen of the file again. Knight to d4, black castled, bishop to g3, preparing f4 pawn push. In anticipation of that move, knight from e to d7 was played f4 gaining more space on the board. And yes, black has less space and he didn't find the best move in this position. He played e5. Better move was knight to c5 attacking bishop. e5 attacking knight and with that move black created weaknesses in his camp. Weaknesses are d5 square f5 square and also bishop is now aiming at f7 pawn. Knight is under attack. Knight, knight was played to f5, attacking bishop. Rook to e8, defending. Now bishop is at the mercy of knight, but there is no rush to take. Tal played queen to c4, aiming at f7 pawn. d5, Tal captured with knight. And now black played bishop to c5, and that move was criticized by some people for not being good. Let's go back. Black's position is extremely difficult. Have a look. Two knights attacking bishop. Is there time to play bishop to f8? No, because if bishop to f8, knight takes knight, and after black recaptures, queen takes on f7. So black was hoping to gain some time to organize his defense because this is check. And after king to h1, he played rook to e6, blocking that f7 pawn. We have reached critical position of the game. It is white to move. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the killer move that Tal played in this position. Are you ready? Before I show you the killer move, I will show you another move that is also good. If you've seen this one, that's also good. Knight takes knight, and after knight takes, pawn takes, and white is better. But this is not Tal's style, is it? What did Tal play in this position? He sacrificed his queen. Or did he? Black had a long thought and he didn't take queen. Why not? If he takes queen, then we would have this continuation. Knight takes knight, check. Pawn takes, check. And checkmate. Is there a better defense? After check, king can go to f8, but then check and 
checkmate again. Oh boy, oh boy. So queen is a taboo. Black captured knight on d5 and white didn't move his queen. He captured knight with rook. Queen is still a taboo. Let's check. If knight takes, then check and checkmate. Hmm. Black played pawn takes pawn on f4 and didn't last long. Let's go back. What is the best move for black in this position? It appears that h6 is the best move. Why? It would create room for king to escape. Unfortunately, black would be still losing. White can, con can continue in many different ways. But I'll just show you one variation that is kind of cute. Queen to e7. Rook takes, knight takes, king to h7. Rook takes bishop. Queen to a7. Rook takes rook, queen takes rook. Rook takes on d7. And white would have four pieces against queen. And white would be winning. Let's go back to our game. In the game, black Captured pawn on f4. And now, knight to e7 check. King to f8. Rook takes on d7. Totally destroying black's defense. Black captured with bishop. Now bishop takes on e6. And in this position, black resigned. He resigned in view of this variation. He can capture with pawn or with bishop. Let's say he captures with bishop. Then we will have this discover check. Check is from queen and also knight is attacking queen. If king goes to e8, then queen to e7 checkmate. And if king goes to g8, then knight takes queen. And after rook takes, bishop takes on f4. And white is winning. That was very impressive attack by Tal, wasn't it? What do you think of this game? Was it good? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.